This is a tutorial on how you can export your data from monday.com to be used in Coda. I have a board here called Cool Teams Product Roadmap, and I want to be able to visualize and utilize this data in this new Coda doc. So the first thing I want to do is actually export this data into Excel. If I click on these three dots right here, go to More Actions, Export Board to Excel, and I'm going to click on Export Table Land Updates just to have all my data out and it's going to say export is ready and then you should have an excel file that you can open up and this might take a second or two well that expanded through the whole window and this is the export in excel i'm just going to move some windows around just so we can see this more clearly all right so we have this export in Excel. So how do we convert this format into a format that we can use in Coda? So the key thing here is we want to be able to format the this data in Excel into one table. And the way we can do that is you notice that these groups all have a different name, Q3, Q4, and Backlog. So what I'm going to do is actually first I'm just going to delete these first few rows. And let's delete this image here. And I'm going to insert a new column here and just call this period. And we know this is for Q3. I'm going to copy this value down. This is Q4. Again, we're assigning a group to every single row based on the group that was in, in Monday. You notice how this, this matches up with here. This matches up with here. And now we have everything properly identified. And we want to get rid of all these headers and summary rows. So a quick thing you, you can do here is actually just sort by the first column. So I'm going to take all this data and, whoops, let's take all this data. Actually, I can, I can delete this row as well. Let's take all this data here and sort by the period, which is what we just created. And now you have all the this empty, all these empty header rows in the bottom. You can just delete these rows from our data set. And this is our final table that is kind of cleaned up in a bit because it has this period column, which represents the group in, in Monday. If I look across this table, there are a few things I can actually delete, like this item ID. Unless you're going to be using Monday and code at the same time, I'm just going to delete this for now. And I'm going to copy this table. And I'm actually going to do a quick paste special values down here, just so it loses all the formatting. And now I have a clean table of just all my data. So I'm going to copy this, these values, and now head over to Coda. And this is going to be called my, I believe it was the sprint product roadmap, product roadmap data. I'm just going to do a paste, uh, Command-V or Control-V if you're using PC. And this is my table that I've copied over from Excel. And I'm going to rename this table to Roadmap Data again. And there's a few things that we need to do here to kind of clean this up. So the name, you want to set this as the display column. So this is going to be the most unique column in our, in our data set. So I'm going to go here, set as display column. This period was that column that we created as an extra column in our Excel file over here. And so what I'm going to do here is just clean things up a little bit. This is name. This is actually a date column. I'm going to rename this to start date and change this column type to be date. You notice that gets reformatted to the proper date uh, format. This is going to rename this as, whoops, I'm going to rename this as well change this to a date format as well. I'm going to leave tags on its own and product leads. So this is an interesting column. So what happens is when you paste it in the data from Excel, it turned it into an Excel, a select list in Coda. But if you look inside Monday, this is actually a person that we want to be able to identify in our Coda doc. And so these are just regular text values, but if I want to actually have the proper person be inputted or be shown up in this column, 
the first thing you want to do is first share this Coda doc with all the people that you want to invite to use this doc with you, just like you did with Monday on your Monday board. And then once all the people have, have been invited, you can just click here, change column type, and then click on type in people. And this is a special people column type in Coda. And as long as the names match from the other people that you're writing to your Coda doc, and the names match with what's inside the column in the Excel file, then these people will automatically show up properly in this column. And so there's a few other places where I can do this. So this one also appears to be a people column, a UX lead. The problem is um, oop, I actually want to make this a multiple uh, selections so that multiple people can show up. And it looks like that didn't really properly carry over. So I'm going to have to actually manually select the two people here that I want and close that out. But you can kind of see how you have to do a little bit of cleanup with the people columns in order to get them to show properly in, in Coda. So that's how you would do the following, the rest of the columns all the way to the very end. So what about the updates? So you notice that in the Excel file, it also came up with these product team updates. And this is one long table, so we actually don't, don't have to do that much cleanup here. The only thing I'm gonna do is actually delete this first item ID. It's not relevant for for us in Coda. And everything else, I'm just going to keep the same. So I'm going to select all these updates. And now go back to Coda. And below my product roadmap data, I'm going to click on down here. Just do a paste of my table. And this is going to be my product roadmap updates. All right, so why this is really if you really want to keep the comments from your Monday board, you can have this updates table as well. Uh, but if you don't, this is not necessary in the export. But for, for the sake of this example, what I'm going to do here is actually link together this product updates table with my main product roadmap data. And the way I'm going to do that here is by going to the item name. Notice that these item names are all items here in this roadmap table. And here are all the, up, the individual updates for these different features. If I click on this and go click on change column type, whoops, change column type, and go to a lookup, hit enter. And by default, since, there, since there's only two tables in my Coda doc, it automatically does a lookup to the roadmap data table, which is the first table up here. And if you notice here, these options now show up as every single feature or item in this in this roadmap data column. And if I hover over one of these item names, you'll see all the data associated with that um, feature or item in this case. And so this is a way that you can link together your two tables so that if you happen to change one of these names, feature, let's say feature seven, eight, nine, ten, seven, eight, nine, zero, this will also change down here. So just a way to keep everything consistent. So now once you have all your monday.com tables inside your Coda doc, um, the big one is being able to just quickly doing some formatting to fix this period to or whatever this column is. Um, you want to be able to put that as an extra column in your data set. And now you can do some visualizations off of your uh, off of your main data set. So if I want to create, like let's say, a uh, special view where I want to group things by the period. Group along left. I can now see things similar to how I, similar to how I can see things in uh, Monday. I can also now move things. Let's say I want to look at things by the product stage. I can group this along the top. And now I can see all the things associated with uh, nothing and then validated and then research. Sometimes I don't want to see a bunch of these columns, so I could actually decide to hide, let's say from tags all the way to released. I can hide these. And now I have a little more consolidated view of my, uh, my items by period and then by product. Let's, look at, let's take a look at a few more ways I can visualize this, this data. Let's say I want to do, let's insert another view off of my roadmap data. Let's say I want to view a Kanban board of this this data, Kanban view. And I want to do it by the 
UX UI column based on done working on it stuck. I'm just going to put on a few more, make sure these are all filled out for the sake of this example. And we'll say this is group along the top. So now this is a, just a big group along the top. And now if I go to options and I'm going to view this as a, whoops, not that, as cards. I now have those different options that I have under UI UX, under the UI UX column, and I can now move things between different boards, if you will, in my in this Kanban view. And everything is, of course, all linked together. There's all different types of ways you can visualize data, but the important part is being able to get the format right first of your data set that looks like this. And once you have this data here, then you can start visualizing and collaborating on the data in the doc.